Hello ladies and gents, this is Sage and I'm back for another commentary. But before I get into the gameplay, I just want to thank everybody for the support I got just in the first few days that I uploaded um, the two videos, the, the two other commentaries that I had. Uh, just to get 60 subscribers in the first, you know, three days, the first two videos that I post is awesome. And I got tons of good feedback. Uh, and good ratings and everything so I want to thank you all for that um, I also want to let you know that if you have questions that you post either uh, on video comments or send to me in messages I have read them um, so I'll answer a couple in this video so definitely if you have a question that you ask you should sub subscribe to my channel because I'll be answering those in future videos um, so people are asking me, and I should have obviously addressed this in my first video uh, in which I introduced myself, uh, but you're wondering if I play on Xbox or PS3 or PC. And I play on Xbox. Um, also, some people asked, and you must not have seen my first video if you asked this, um, you should check it out, uh, what I use to record, because it's obviously not a capture card. Um, I'm going to be hopefully getting an HD cap card uh, very soon uh, within the next month or so but for now it's just a nice video camera that uh, is set up right in front of my TV when I play uh, also I recently got some turtle beaches which um, were a long time coming because I've I've been playing first-person shooters for quite a while and if you want to be uh, if you want to compete in first-person shooters, then uh, getting a headset is really important, and especially in Modern Warfare 2. Um, so I have the Turtle Beach X3s, which uh, are pretty good. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to thank everybody and let you know that if you have questions, uh, I do read all the comments and everything. So definitely continue to check out my videos and channel if you want your questions to be answered. Okay, uh, this game, I believe is a ground war game of domination um, and I'm using the AK with extended mags uh, which the AK-47 I have not decided whether I like it or not uh, I've used it a lot just in my 10th prestige because I wanted to master it I have all the guns mastered now and it was the last one because you get it at level 70 so I didn't want to waste time on it in my other prestiges um, so that's why I have quite a few kills with it. I've used it a bit. But um, it, it it's either a blessing or a curse in each game, it seems like. Uh, some games I'll do well in it. Like this one, I do pretty well. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't seem to hit like I want it to. Um, I don't like any of the sights on it. I, I just like using the iron sight. Uh, whether it be, I would say, I would only use the silencer or the extended mags with it pretty much. Um, you can see here, oh, the, okay, if you guys don't know, you can't shoot, sh um, shoot through these banana leaves here, and, um, it almost gets me killed there, and it does get me killed later in the game, which makes me really mad, because, like, you can shoot through concrete walls, but you can't shoot through a banana leaf, which is just insane. Um, Okay, so I'm basically controlling the top. We've had two territories for most of the... Well, not most of the game. We, we don't have that big of a lead right now. But uh, but there's a lot of swapping going on, and this, this game is kind of chaotic. A lot of people just rushing flags. Let me just give you guys a tip. If you're playing Domination, um, whether it be Ground War or, you know, 6v6, what you want to do... And, again, this is a game where I'm just playing with randoms. Um... You don't want to cap all three flags, even though it's kind of counterintuitive because when you have three three flags, you're racking up points, right? And the other team isn't getting any. But the best way to play domination, um, the reason I hide on this side now is because I've died from the, the banana leaves a few times when I've been up top. So I'm just taking a little bit more cover and being cautious and aware of that side. Anyway, about domination, um, the best way to play it is to capture either... Um, a and B or C and B, um, depending which side you spawn on, and just hold those two as long as you can. Um, that would be for a map like this where the where the flags are linear. If you've got a map like Terminal, it's really good to hold A and C, and then you can uh, you have the best position where you can 
kind of trap them into B, but you do not want to push into their spawn. And that's what my teammates were doing this entire game. They would go, and that was unfortunate, and they would uh, capture the enemy flag, and then the, the other team would spawn behind us or on the side of us and go capture our flag and uh, kill me from behind half the time. And we come out on top in this game um, just because we held the flags for longer than them because that's how domination works. But uh, but it's just really hectic and chaotic when you, you don't have a system. When I'm with a party of six in normal... Here it is. There it is. Yep. Banana leaves. Banana leaves. Um, what was I saying? When, okay. When, when I have a full party playing domination, you... You almost never, unless someone decides to be stupid or uh, or the game's coming to an end or something, or we need three flags to win, you won't see us cap three flags. Because when we have two flags, um, we'll be able to trap them in, in their spawn, and we know where they're going to be spawning, and we're able to hold hold down two flags for the entire game, and we'll come out on top. And it's just... You're st you're still gonna get the win easily when you have two flags. Like you don't need three to win. Never do you. If you start off with two flags, I guarantee you you will win every game because you don't need to have three flags to win. Um, and it'll help out, you know, your kills because you know where they're spawning the whole time. It'll help out your deaths because you know they will not spawn behind you as long as nobody pushes in too far. And um, you can be in you know, in the side of their spawn, as long as you don't have two players um, on each side of their spawn, in, in both sides of their spawn, because then they're going to spawn behind you. Um, so that's that's how you want to play Domination. It, it'll work out for you a lot better, I promise, than just rushing their spawn the whole time. Um, you can see here, uh, I've been using the top top C building a lot, and it's it's been really effective. When I've gone top middle, like in the in the red brick house, or near the water tower, I seem to get shot from the side a lot. Uh, and I noticed that halfway through this game, so I kind of stayed out of it, and I'm hiding from the Harrier here, waiting for my teammates to hopefully take him out. Oh, wait, no. Maybe that was my Harrier. I'm an idiot. Um, I was just sitting in a corner because I wanted to get comfortable for a while. Um, like, I'm in the red brick again, but I'm aware that my teammates... A lot of them are on the side of the slums over there. This guy, I don't know how you commit suicide right there. I don't know what he did. Um, I'm aware of where my teammates are at, so therefore I'm kind of I'm secure that they're not going to hit me from the right. I'm looking down the center here, and then I'll go up here and look down the street and uh, and pick up a couple kills. See, this AK is treating me pretty nice this game. The shots seem to be hitting. Uh, some games are not. And I, ooh, I don't know where that guy came from. He must have come up the ladder. Um, my setup this game is the, I don't think I've pulled out my secondaries at all, but it's the AK uh, with extended mags, and then I got the claymores and flash grenades, and scavenger pro, stopping power pro, and steady aim pro. Uh, oh no, I do, I, my secondaries are, uh, the magnums, which are pretty beastly, um, with steady aim on, they have some pretty ridiculous range, and, uh, it can get annoying if you run into several people, and uh, there you go, there they are, showing them off. Uh, if you run into several people, and you can only take out maybe two of them with, um, because you know you only get six per clip, six shots per clip. Um, but they're they're really good, um, so I like those. Um, so the game's coming to an end, and I kind of, you know, my first life, I I went like thirteen and zero. I had a good life. Uh, I was dying quite a bit towards, well, not quite a bit, but quite a bit towards the middle of the game. And uh, and then I kind of was more cautious, just, or not so much cautious. I was still running the top of the map, but I was just more aware of of the patterns that the other team was running, which you can't even learn within one game of, of how the other team is playing and where they're running a lot. I don't, what was that about? Um, so this is going to be the end of the game. We come out, uh, we win 200 to 177 and I end up 64 and 14. Um, stay posted for my other videos guys and thank you very much.